Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it as short as I can today, but I got a new uh, addition to my family. <laughs> my family, of ar my arsenal family. So uh, I'm gonna go over the holsters I bought for it. We're gonna go over the accessories I bought for it. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you some range time with it. And it is the Kimber uh, 357 Magnum K6S. So absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous gun. Uh, you guys can see that there, hopefully. Yeah, K6S, there you go. So six shot, 357 Magnum. Um, you know, some people like revolvers, some people don't. Uh, I do, I had a J frame, Smith & Wesson's uh, five shot, 38 Special plus P. Uh, but I wanted something with a little bit more stopping power, so I picked this one up. It's typical Kimber, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, normally you would see these on the cylinder. These would be kind of scalloped inward or, or concave. And here they're just flat. They made them flat, so it's kind of neat. Uh, adds a neat little uh, look to the cylinder. You can kind of see it there. It's just kind of neat that it's flat on the side. You know, rather than, uh, you know, your usual scallop. So, but it's a two inch barrel, so she kicks. It's got the standard sights on it, so she's got the standard three dot sight. And I'm not, I'm not gonna get those lined up for you, but you'll see that that's a, a three dot sight there. There you go, so standard three dot sight. Now I did upgrade it with this Crimson Trace. So this is a Crimson Trace grip. It is wood, beautiful wood, and uh, rubber combination. So the rubber's in the front, and it is two pieces. And they send you the uh, bolt, which is a number 11 um, Torx screw. That's what you use to take out the old grip, and you use the new grip, the same T11, to install that on there. And just absolutely really gorgeous. Now I have not shot with this yet, but I did zero it. And you can see right here, so right in the front there is your button that you press and that actuates the laser there. So there's your laser. You guys can see off, on, there you go. So that activates your laser. And it activates intuitively, you know, the minute you grip it, obviously. So you, you know, you go to grip and the minute you get a, the minute you get a grip on it, it turns on. So again, really, really nice. Uh, they always send you the nice Crimson Trace uh, Allen wrench that you can adjust the windage and elevation. I zeroed it in for 50 feet. Uh, Use the iron sights. Now I shot this at the range already. So uh, yes. Uh, oh, and the nice thing about the Crimson Trace too is this bottom. So there's your bottom little switch there. You see that switch. So when that switch is forward, uh, it's on and when you switch it backwards push on it backwards with your fingernail now it won't turn on so if you're gonna you know throw it in a suitcase or something take it with you uh, obviously not on a plane but if you're traveling somewhere you can so it won't accidentally go on and you just flip this forward and then you're back to on again so all right and uh, I mean it's got a nice button here you push the button to release the cylinder cylinder pops out now, the only caveat to this is that uh, you have to have, you have to buy the uh, speed loaders from them. I'm not complaining about that either. Okay, so here's your six shot speed loader. I got the hollow points in there. And I'm going to take them out of here in a second and show you this, but look at how beautiful that is. I mean, this is a you know, typical Kimber. It's got the beautiful you know, K on the front there, if you guys can see that without the glare, I'm trying to get the glare out of it for you. There you go, so nice, you know, scroll K on there, kind of a cursive K. And then, you know, it's the same as anything else. So you just, you're gonna put them in and then you're gonna twist to the left and they're gonna fall in. This thing is ultra lightweight, absolutely beautiful machined aluminum. Now they're 50 bucks a piece, yeah, so they're not cheap, but I only got three of them. I mean, how many do you need, really? I mean, you know, for me, three of them is more than enough. 
uh, but just absolutely beautiful. So you just leave it open. You know, you drop your rounds in here, just like you would with any others. This is the only speed loader that fits it too. I checked HKS's website, which is a horrible website. You can't even email them and ask them. I checked all the other websites and this is the only one that I could find that actually will work with the Kimber. So when you're doing your reload and you grab your right hand, you just drop it in there and it drops right in. And then you're just gonna twist to the left and they'll, and they'll drop right in. So gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful, really nice speed loaders. Um, and then now here's the, now this also comes from Kimber. So this is the Kimber, this is the, this is the pouch for holding the uh, speed loader. So it's kind of neat. Now these two screws here, um, these two things here were up here and it didn't fit my belt. My belt's an inch and three quarters. So, or I'm sorry, inch and a half, inch and a half belt. And it didn't fit it. So I had to move them from here down to here on each one. No big deal. But what you have to do is you unbutton it all the way in the back there too. So there's two buttons here. So what you do is you slide your belt into here so your belt goes in here and then you snap it shut around your belt like that. And then you drop this in and then you just snap over it. And the nice thing about this is it really pulls it tight up against your body. So that's really nice. It doesn't imprint on your clothing like these do. Now, Galco, I don't know if anybody has a J frame, Smith & Wesson J frame five shot. This is the Galco uh, here's the F-189. Here, I'll give you guys that information there. I'm not going to put it in the, dis the uh, description today, but so anyway, Galco makes a, this is for, th this mag this speed loader holder is for my J-frame. Well, lo and behold, it also fits my Kimbers. So your belt goes in here, you slide, you put your belt in there, you wrap this around your belt, belt goes through here, and you just snap it shut. Now, the only thing is this does imprint a lot more or can imprint a lot more on your clothing than this one does. I actually really like these. Again, not cheap. It's got the Kimber name on it, but again, designed for this. But if you have Galco ones already from a Smith & Wesson J-Frame, five shot, you can use these speed loaders, the six shot speed loaders. So they do work in the Galco version. I carry at least one extra with me, so I'll have 12 shots, so I'll have six plus another six. Um, I bought three speed loaders. Sometimes I'll carry two. I carry them on my left side because I do right appendix carry, and then I just reach across with my right hand, and I practice a lot so that I'm, I'm good with it. So I just reach across, you unbutton, pull it out, and you're ready to go. So I, I did like the way that this is set up, so it's kind of neat. These. So I bought both of these from Kimber, from their website. I got the, the mag pouches and you have to buy their speed loaders because there's no other speed loaders on the market that I know of that fit it. Couldn't find them. But again, two really nice options. Now, the only thing with this trigger here is I'm gonna kind of show you guys. So, you know, it's a typical double action only trigger. So you pull back and your cylinder rotates and then you hit this little cliff here. I call it a cliff. So you hit this little extra resistance just before it goes off. So you hit this extra, you, your cylinder rotates and then you hit this little bump. So you got to keep pushing harder to get past it and then it'll go off. So, you know, and it's got, a, it's a, it's a long, I'll try and do it with my thumb so y'all can see it a little bit better. But anyway, you know, rotates, you hit the bump right there. So you got to keep pushing hard. And then, and again, it's just practice. Now they do make a spring reduction kit for this. I did not buy it. I'm not probably going to buy it. I did buy one for my J-Frame and I did like it. It is nice. Uh, both the J-Frame and this one are hammerless. Uh, so they're double action only. But, you know, a little practice with this thing. And I'll tell you, you know, just sitting on the couch and going, it's not that hard. It's not that bad. It's a really nice trigger. I mean, you get used to it pretty quick. And with the laser on the wall, you can kind of see what's jumping and what isn't. And I shot it pretty well at the range without this Crimson Trace. So when I, the, the footage you're gonna see after this is me shooting with just a regular rubber grips on it. And uh, so that's the gun. Let me know if anyone has any questions. I mean, it's a 357 Magnum, it kicks, okay? I had two different kinds of 
uh, ammo for it. I had this ammo here. So this is just jacketed uh, flat nose. So full metal jacket, flat nose. Not going to, they call it truncated cone, whatever. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to show it to you. Everybody knows what that looks like. And then I bought some hollow points, and that's what I have here in these speed loaders. Uh, these are, uh, uh, it's just my smoke detectors going through their checks. Anyway, I uh, bought this uh, for self-defense. It's a jacketed hollow point, and uh, I shot both of these through the gun, and the gun worked great. So, uh, shoots great, of course kicks, but, you know, it's a 357 Magnum, it's going to kick. Now, the nice thing is, too, you, yeah, you could shoot 38 Special through here, or 38 Special plus B, and you'd get six rounds instead of five. It is a little bit heavier than my J-Frame, but I wore this all weekend in this Galco uh, appendix draw, and I had no problems at all. The whole weekend, I didn't. Even, I almost forgot it was there a couple times. Now, I didn't have my speed loaders because I had ordered these, and they were sitting outside my garage waiting for me to get home, but uh, the weekend we were gone, I had this with me the whole time, and really, really super comfortable. So what I did is I got two different models here. I got the Galco, and I got the DeSantis. Now this is the DeSantis. It's a nice uh, holster, really is. Uh, you know, gun fits in there nice. I do like the opening, so it's got a nice opening to it. Allows you to really get the, slide the gun in there nice. It's super comfortable. Uh, I do like it, and I, it, it, it's equally as comfortable as a Galco. I bought both because I wanted to see what the differences were. Now they do both come with different hooks. They come with what they call an invisible hook. It's just a tiny little nubbin that comes out after it slides around the belt. So you don't see this much, you know, sticking around the belt. I like these kind of, you know, big things that snap around the belt. And I, my shirt's out anyway, so I'm not worried about people seeing this. But anyway, they do both come with uh, the Galco and the, there's an extra, you know, you can see the extra thing in there. There's an extra clip in there. I'm not going to go through pulling out both clips and showing them to you. Just, just, you know, when you get the, when you, if you buy these for the gun, you get extra clips that'll go around your belt. But both are nice. I just chose to wear this one all weekend just to see what it was like. Now, I like the Galco because you do have some adjustment here on tension. There's no adjustment on tension with the DeSantis. Um, I do like that this is non slip. I do like that this, now this, you unscrew this, pull it out. And it's got three little, so this is the other side. So this is what you would see here. So you got three little holes here. So what I found is vertical works best for me. So I leave it in the vertical hole. There's also one on either side. So you can angle it, you can have it straight, you can have it angled forward, or you can have it angled backward. There's three settings for this one. It's not infinite, but there's three. This one allows you a little bit more settings because it's, you just loosen up this uh, bolt here and then you can rotate this you know, to any degree that you want it to be. I put it just a little out of vertical because uh, that's what seemed to work in my in my clothing. But I'm going to try this one for a full day too. I have not done that yet. But uh, love this holster, this Galco. It was great. It, it sits a little low, which is fine. But if I went to grab for it, my belt was right there. So I could have easily grabbed it and pulled it out um, and presented it, you know, to whatever target. Like I said, it is a little bit heavier. Uh, but it's six shots instead of five. The trigger is great. You can buy this aftermarket. Really beautiful Crimson Trace. Now the Crimson Trace, the gun is 900 bucks. The Crimson Trace is 400 bucks. I mean, it's almost half the price of the gun. But, you know, on this kind of a gun, I like to have a laser. It's just, a, it's a two inch barrel. So really beyond, you know, five yards, seven yards, uh, you know, beyond 14 feet, you're going to have a difficult time hitting stuff. It's just not designed for long distance. Uh, so I just like having the laser there just to verify that I'm, you know, I'm, you know, you can use it as a backup. What I, you know, I like to call it a backup. My J frame also has a crimson trace, but it's a full rubber. This is wood and rubber. Absolutely gorgeous. I love crimson trace stuff. They do a great job. They uh, have great attention to detail. Uh, this is a very light uh, button. I mean, it doesn't take much for it to come on. Just make sure you don't rest it up against your pants and leave it on. Uh, that's the only thing. But love the Galco. Always love Galco. DeSantis, no real concerns about it. It is really nice. I do really like how it holds it nicely. 
just haven't used it. Now this is inside the waistband, so this would all be inside. Uh, and then your belt, you know, obviously goes underneath here. So your belt would go underneath there. Your pants are here. Uh, but yeah, both of these holsters were great. Both of them are great. I just wore this one for the whole weekend. So I can comment about this one. I can't comment yet about that one. But there she is. Uh, the Kimber K6S and 357 Magnum 6 shot. Two inch barrel. Crimson Trace Grip. Uh, DeSantis and Galco holsters. These, although they say Kimber, are DeSantis uh, pouches. Uh, you can use the Galco pouch as well. And then, of course, you got your Kimber uh, speed loader. So I got, I think three of them for me is more than enough. But um, after, this, at, at, after this video, I've connected my other video to it. And I've got some range time there for you guys to see me out at the range shooting it. Yes, it kicks. It kicks hard. You're not going to be doing uh, a quick double tap with this, but it's not what it's designed for. It's not what it's meant for. So, uh, but nonetheless, a great gun. I love Kimber stuff too. They just have an attention to detail and it is a step up. I mean, I, I consider Kimber a step up from a Smith & Wesson or a, m and or a Sig Sauer or any of those kind of what I would call production guns, um, I think Kimber's a step up. You know, it's not into the full custom, you know, like an Atlas or a, or a Infinity or, you know, any of the Nighthawk or any of that stuff, but it is kind of in between those. So really, I think 900 is reasonably priced for this gun. Um, you got lots of aftermarket stuff. She kicks like a mule, grip it hard. And it's a great gun. All right, after this, uh, you're going to see some range time with it, just with a couple of loads. I, I shot both the uh, target load and the uh, hollow point loads. So check it out. That's at the end of this video. All right, thanks again for watching Doc G's Reloading. Let me know if you all have any questions. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. Uh, today, I'm going to shoot my 357 Magnum. First time I've ever purchased this caliber. So this is a brand new caliber to me. I actually had to buy ammo uh, for it. Uh, I had my 38 Special Plus P, the J-Frame Smith & Wesson, which was nice. Uh, but decided to step up to the 357 Magnum 6-shot uh, Kimber, uh, the K6S. That's uh, uh, hammerless, so it's double action only. And I got a Galco holster here appendix draw which is what i like really nice uh holster but uh, this is the gun we're going to shoot today first time i've ever shot a 357 magnum i've never shot that caliber before so we're going to shoot it and uh see how the gun performs and then i'm going to do an up close uh dive into it uh either before or after this video <laughs> i'll figure it out once i get the other part done so there we go 357 magnum at about seven yards Okay, well, I'd lie, I'd be a liar if I said it didn't kick. Uh, these are target loads, um, and it does kick, so you really got to grab onto it. Uh, but, you know, overall, uh, six shots pretty much in the center. Uh, two out, four inside of the center ring on a target, so uh, I'll run some more rounds through it. All right, so I've got some self-defense rounds in here, some hollow points. Uh, see how differently those shoot. Uh, again, we're at seven yards from the target. Uh, guys are shooting behind me here. So but I'll say that this probably is more comfortable to shoot than my J-Frame 38 Special with plus P ammo in it. Uh, that thing's so light, it's a little bit heavier not a lot. I also ordered a Crimson Trace grip for it. It's not here yet. Uh, and I heard it's a really nice grip. It's wood and rubber. We'll do a review on that after. But uh, here's some self-defense rounds. I'm going to do an appendix draw here.
okay still not bad uh, my trigger finger hits the front of the trigger guard a little bit on some of that recoil but again you really got to grip it so uh four of the shots in the center two just below the center so again uh you know not complaining uh you do have to get used to the trigger a little bit it's got you know take up and then it, you hit a you hit a little bit of a resistance so you got your your take up first so it turns the cylinder then you got this little ledge you got to get over so there's a ledge right there until it goes off so it's a little different getting used to it they do make trigger weight reduction spring kits for this but uh, it shoots great uh you know 357 magnum personal defense rounds at seven yards yeah even if you're wearing body armor you're gonna feel it uh big time so all right so um, i'll do an in-depth look at this uh on the bench <laughs>